Hi guys, my name is Maz Delisana and I'm an author and the founder of the Phoenix Rising Collective. I help people remove subconscious blocks and self-limiting belief so they can become energetically aligned to transform into manifesting magnets. On this channel, I talk about all the things I love like personal development, spirituality and all things manifestation. If this is the kind of vibe that you like, don't forget to hit the big red button down below, hit subscribe and the bell so you can get notified every time I post a new update. In today's video, I want to talk about shadow work. I want to discuss what it is, why it helps, why we should do it and the benefits of doing shadow work and what it's all about. I know for me, doing shadow work was a freaking game changer. It made my healing process just take so much more progress at a much rapid rate. And it really just did wonders for my soul and just releasing trauma and just unpacking all that baggage that I was holding on to that I was not even aware of or thought I was over. So there's a quote from Carl Jung that I absolutely adore. And it's, until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. So shadow work is getting in touch with those darker aspects of your personality and the parts of yourself that you may have suppressed because you're ashamed of it or you're not proud of it. And we hide these shadow parts of our personality because maybe if we think about it or admit it to ourselves, they make, make us feel sad or even like wounded and no one what likes to feel that, right? The benefit of doing the shadow work is once we can bring all the unconscious things about ourselves that we may not like, we have suppressed and we are not proud of, what then happens is we gain so much more clarity. We understand ourselves, our behavioral patterns, why we do certain things, why we may react or get triggered and feel and do what we do as adults. And we can, once we've got clarity on that and get a grasp of understanding who we really are and where it stemmed from, we can then start working on the healing and then releasing those behaviors and limiting beliefs and things that are blocking us that we weren't even aware of. And by doing this, we can then choose to reprogram our minds and choose to make better choices for ourselves, choose to act, think, and just behave in a different way that is more constructive rather than self destructive. Now, the number one thing with shadow work is understanding your triggers. If you're not sure what a trigger is, a trigger is a psychological stimulus which is prompted due to a response that reminds us of previous trauma that we've experienced. So, as I've always said in my videos, it doesn't have to be dramatic to be traumatic. Trauma can be on all sorts of levels, whether it's like what something you could like even say is at a one out of 10, or even if it's a 10 out of 10, there's so many layers to trauma. But once we can understand what our triggers are, and that is anything that makes us feel not great, anything that makes us feel anxious, angry, defensive, makes us feel fearful or brings sad sadness, um, anything that feels less than great is a trigger. When something happens that makes us feel not so good, that is a trigger. And when we can understand where that trigger stemmed from and what, what it was in the past that reminds us of that, we can then start doing the work. Doing the shadow work is beneficial because once we can bring to understanding what has shaped our current thoughts, emotions, behaviors, and just understanding why we do certain things. And these certain things could be blocking us from allowing love into our life or preventing us from receiving more abundance or money or just feeling worthy or even having genuine, more authentic connections. All of these things that we've added up as part of through our whole life and we're holding onto them without knowing it. Hence why bringing up our shadow side and understanding it and befriending it is the best way to be able to heal and reprogram your mind to a better way of thinking and living. So there's some examples of shadow. For example, let's just say as a child, you were teased and you were bullied by the kids at school. And so as an adult, let's say someone was just teasing you and playing around, not meaning anything malicious, 
but because it's reminded you subconsciously of the time that you were teased when you were a kid, you've all of a sudden got really triggered as an adult and you've really taken offense or got hurt by something that was not even such a big deal or intended in a malicious way to you, but it really triggered you. Judging people unfairly because in the past you were judged unfairly or criticizing someone that has your exact flaws or let's just say as a young boy your dad told you don't cry a little like a little boy only little boys cry and so from there you've now subconsciously had to believe that like crying was weak and showing weak emotions was weak and so you've suppressed that sensitive side and you don't know how to be vulnerable now as an adult and you just condition yourself to act tough all the time which then is also damaging because you're having a build-up of all these emotions that you've not allowed yourself to feel to be able to release it and this can then turn into destructive or even anger issues as an adult because you're letting it all build up without consciously being aware of this or you might have been a girl as a little girl your mum was like there was a time that you were angry and then your mom was like stop throwing a tantrum like good don't be a good girl only bad girls throw tantrums or something like that and so this has been like planted in your mind as a child as a little girl thinking you're not allowed to feel anger or be upset because that's a tantrum and that's not how good girls behave so then as an adult every time you're upset about something you hold it in you bury it down which builds and simmers and builds resentment and this could turn into passive aggressive behaviors that is also damaging so that's why i highly believe doing shadow work is just the fastest way to be able to work through your traumas your pain your subconscious things that are holding you back once you can get a better understanding of yourself, <laughs> your whole world changes because you can now take responsibility of how things are and how things will be rather than being chained down to past traumas and events and things out of your control that you were conditioned to. If you want to dive deeper into this and need some guidance, I myself am super passionate about this and I coach my clients one-on-one -on, -one, um, on this healing journey. I will link it down below if it's something that interests you. Otherwise, I really hope this video helped you today, guys, and you found value in it because for me, shadow work was a game changer. But yes, until next time.